when we set out to work on our next gen game for the PlayStation 3, we really wanted to do something special, something that was completely different that nobody's ever seen before. You know, we looked at what was out there, the landscape of games that were being developed, and everything sort of had this dark and gray or brown look to it. So we wanted to go completely opposite that. And we wanted to have a game that when somebody just caught it out of the corner of their eye walking past it in the store, they'd be drawn to it right away and just have to check it out and see what's this game all about. I think one of the, uh, the key of Uncharted that's going to really stand out is the fact that everything looks uh, real and the player is going to be uh, immersed completely into that game because you, like, you can believe that you are in that jungle. You're going to see plants moving, you're going to see real-time lights like uh, the sun and the refraction for the world, like all these things, all these details that you see every day. We were able to produce all of that. When we set off to make a brand new franchise, what we wanted to do was sort of embrace the, the action-adventure genre in its sort of classic form, but in a contemporary context. So we looked at a load of those matinee serials from the 30s, lots of chases, running around looking for treasure, unlikely allegiances with a whole crazy cast of characters, lots of narrow escapes and risky situations. So we took all of this stuff and then started to look at how we might be able to reinvent it for the 21st century. With the look of Uncharted, we wanted it to stand out from all the other games that are being developed of the next generation consoles. We wanted it to have this lush, organic feel. We didn't want to have the same gritty and dark corridors that so many of these games have you running around shooting aliens and, and fighting monsters in. We wanted you to be in this lush, tropical jungle that really immersed you and made you feel like you could feel the moisture in the air. It's a stylized reality and there's a little bit of vividness in the colors that we're choosing, but everything's got this sort of larger-than-life quality. Naughty Dog has a legacy to try and put its mark in the art world and in games. So shapes and color both have a lot to do with the readability of an environment leading the player into an environment and how you're supposed to feel inside of that environment. So with the power of the PlayStation 3, we really felt like we could create environments that were believable and authentic. So we did a lot of research and tons and tons of photo reference. But we also tried to put a twist on it and give it our own style. So our concept artists would take these photos and embellish them and really set the direction for the overall look of Uncharted. We invested a lot of time in our rendering engine to make sure that the differences in texture between a, a glossy palm frond and the rough surface of some stone would really be a good, clear read for the player and just lend all of this believability to the environment. We always try to have some things that in a game that never been done before. Water was one of them, and we are really happy because it adds a lot to the realism of our jungle whether it's ocean, whether it's a river, a stream, a puddle, a waterfall, we really wanted to make sure that you know water was everywhere and that we were going to try to display it in a way that it was never possible to form a previous generation of hardware. So we wanted the story in Uncharted to have historical relevance. So we decided to focus on a historical figure that you know, everybody knew from their fourth grade social study class, you know, Sir Francis Drake. He was out there basically robbing the ships that were coming back to Spain with all this gold from the New World. And we wanted to explore the areas that were kind of foggy in the history books where, you know, maybe not all the details were clear. And then what we did is we ran with it and explored the what if. What if Sir Francis Drake did have children? So our hero, Nathan Drake, believes himself to be a descendant of Sir Francis Drake. And there's treasure out there all over the place. And it's Nathan's job to go find it. So the gameplay in Uncharted is unique. We really wanted to bring together elements that were in other games, but combine them in a way that you've never seen in a single game before. So we, we have three pillars of gameplay. We have our traversal or platforming mechanics that you know we, we've explored uh, heavily in our past games in Crash Bandicoot and Jack and Dexter. But we wanted to combine that with some really fast action over the top gunplay and then mix it in with the hand-to-hand -hand melee combat as well. A combination of mechanics and interactions that you know you really haven't seen put together in the same way ever before. My main focus on making Uncharted was gameplay, was how does the game feel? How does the game interact with the player? How does the world interact with the player? How enjoyable is the game? What's the fun factor on the game? And if it isn't fun, we try again. We come up with something new and 
and, and do it again. We iterated hundreds of times on almost every major mechanic in the game. Our first several attempts at Drake looked fantastic, just like the, the, the final product, but they didn't feel good. It has to feel like a Naughty Dog game. It has to be on a dime responsive. It requires just a lot of back and forth between a programmer and an animator. Making games is not a science, and we don't have a magic formula. We just put in the hard work to make something good, and we just keep trying things until we find something that works.